What's up guys? Today we got a really cool video. It's something a little bit different than we do on our channel, but as you see, it's always something cool and this video is no different. Today we're in Post Falls, Idaho, and we got a custom car builder, Mr. Mark Cod. He does some cool chops and makes some mean machines. You guys, check this one. <laughs> So this is Mr. Mark Cod, and he has got the coolest shop you'll ever lay your eyes on. And he's got some really cool projects. So I'm letting him introduce himself and kind of show you guys around. How's it going? My name's Mark Cod, and this is my shop, my little behind the house uh, garage. I'm gonna do some stuff. Currently I'm working on this 1932 Ford three window. We did a little chop to it, about six and a half inches. Laid back the A pillars a little bit. Pushed the back of the roof forward a little bit. Turn, starting to straighten up all the gaps on it. Still got a lot of work to go, but this is what's going on with this project. So tell everybody how long it takes to get to the, well at first, do you mind showing like how you cut the core and how you chop it and all that? Sure, yeah, yeah. Cause it's really cool. So on this one, I chopped the doors first before I did the roof. So I chopped the doors, got the doors to what I liked. <laughs> then I put the, uh, the roof was on it. And then I chopped the roof and basically just lay the roof down to follow the doors. You can do it either way. A lot of people like to do the roof first. Doesn't matter. If you come in here, you can kind of see where I, the chop line, the weld line inside the back. You have to redo all the wood. Everything has to be redone. It looks pretty <laughs> simple now, but it takes about, this probably took me about three months to get to this point. Right. So I noticed you got another project over yeah, there as well. So that's, that, that's what's coming next. That's a barn find. That's my personal car of mine. Um, it's going to stay all original. It's not going to be, nothing's going to get done to it. It's just going to be an old barn find looking type of hot rod. Let's keep keep all the old paint on it. Just put it all back together and get it on the road. <laughs> so talk, I know off camera you was telling me about how this car was tweaked. Yeah, the back, the gaps were all messed up. It, at one time, the back got welded over a little bit to the left. So when you put the trunk in, this is supposed to be a nice square. I had a huge gap on this side and a huge gap over here. So. Basically, I had to cut the floorboards out of the back, push the back over about a quarter of an inch, and then I had to slice it here and slice it there and add a little piece and add a little piece and just make it work to get your gaps right. That's really cool. That's a lot of work goes into the. I think the general public just like <clears throat> they haven't. You yeah. just whack it off and the top it's, falls down. And you can do that, it. but yeah. it always doesn't turn out as good as you want it. It just takes <laughs> takes your time and just goes slow, and you can get it done. Well, what is the project you got behind you here? This is another one of my friend's cars. Um, it's a '32 Cabriolet, and it was ran over by a caterpillar at one time. And he found it out in the field. No kidding. So this one's getting get all straightened out. I put the new floorboards in it already. Um, working on getting the doors on it. It's kind of a project I'm just kind of working on in between other projects. He's not in a real big hurry for it, but. Wow. I want to see pictures of this when it's done. That is really neat. 
Most of the time I have 34s and 33 Fords in here, and this is the first time I've had all 32, so, so how I, I have, almost have every one. All I need is a five window in here. <laughs> how long have you been doing this? Oh, my dad was an old hot rodder from the 50s, so I've been doing it since I was five. <laughs> Just smoke. hanging out with my dad, building hot rods. Well, it's cool. I want to see if I can get this shot, because a while ago he's like, look through the back window, and you can see what the view is what the driver would see. So that's, that's what you're looking at right there. Yeah, this is a super cool car and you do some amazing work. Well, thank you. I know there's a lot of guys that watch my channel that's into cars and metal fab and stuff like that. You want to show everybody the cool air hammer yeah well i want to talk about your vice grip tree oh. too. like this is cool this was a i'm not sure what this little stand was but i bought it at a swap meet and it was i think it might have been a coat hanger or something and i just welded a bunch of little pegs on it and these are all my vice grips that i collect <laughs> at swap meets and get for five ten dollars at a time i don't i think you're probably the king of vice grips i don't think oh, anybody can I, touch you <laughs> on vice grips <laughs> You got more than the than Ace Hardware and uh, and tractor you never, supply. When you're when you're working by yourself, you can never have enough vice grips. <laughs> That's true. You I only have two hands. Projects, yeah. You know? So I want to see this air hammer that you got. Yeah, I love this, this thing. This is super cool. Yeah, this is really really cool. Um, JRM Tools makes this, and it is it'll save so much time. I'm just getting used to using this. I've never used one before. I've had it for about a year or so, and it's amazing. It'll just save you so much time, and it can just do so much so quick. Yeah, it's super cool, that's for sure. So um, I know we kind of talked a little bit off camera. Tell everybody how far behind you are. I'm, I'm about a, probably at least a year and a half, two years behind right now. Which is a good thing. That means you're doing something right yeah. if you're behind, right? <laughs> So also tell everybody your Instagram and that way people can come check out the cool cars that you got and the awesome pictures and, and stuff that you got. Well, my kid set it up for me. So I'm not a big high tech person, but it's Mark, M-A-R-K underscore C-O-D-D -D, number two. There you go. Check him out on Instagram and you will get to see, you've got the pictures of this car with pre-chop, right? And it is a huge difference super cool so you guys be sure to follow mark and check it out because this is an amazing trans amazing transformation and you can see how clean everything lined back up and uh, like always mark thanks for having us out we appreciate you giving thanks everybody a, a tour giving us some time today like always guys if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed click that button just press it so yeah.